Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to Off the Spot. Just doing a microphone test, and I'm sorry that I didn't upload that many times. I've been working on another project, which is uh, not exactly worth recording because it's really long and sort of boring. So let's get right into it again. I'm gonna kind of make this guy a little smaller. And right before this episode, what I did is made a bunch of rooms with a bunch of random rust spots. Just so we can just insert more things and have a bit more variety. Okay, that was just a test. So, and there's no gravity. Size comparison is pretty good. We'll make him a little bigger because we want to we wanna make it a little interesting. Now, so what we're going to do is we're going to have different sections and levels, or sort of, sort of. You have to kind of avoid the, your creature, and yeah, you have to find a key, and then you have to open the warehouse thing and get, get in. So to lay out, to get room one, what we're going to have is, let's do about five rooms. Yeah, let's do five rooms in each section, and each one will have like its own little difficulty. So I'm going to rename room 1 to room 1, if it, if it would let me, 1-1. One one. So, yeah, so each so each section is like 1 will be the section and 1 will be the room. It'll, it'll make more sense later. So we're going to continuously add layouts. That didn't work. And one more. All right. One dash. We're going to copy this. There we go. Alright, we can fill each room in. Oh, actually, hold on, yeah, before we do that, let's, let's uh, fix the layouts. A little tedious, but needs to be done. I, I won't uh, I won't add more time by doing the layers. I'll just do that off screen. Ignore that. Good. Okay. Basics down. Now, for what we brought in before was just some some things, but now we can actually begin bringing in everything. The boxes. The normal boxes. Um, a table. Shelves. Um, I know I had more. We don't need that yet. We don't need that yet. Sign. Oh, did we, did we really make that little? Yeah, doesn't need to be though. And done. Yeah, good. Okay, so we can just drag these out and customize them in the way we want to. There we 
there, four items. I remember making more, but it's not a big deal. Okay. Okay, let's do this for. Let's, okay, let's do room one. So when you enter, let's see. We can just do a quick shelf. Let's do it. Let's add in a shelf. Just part of the basic background. And for an empty abandoned warehouse, that's a decent amount of detail. And without a box. A closed box to be specific. Yeah, let's add it down. Let's just add it down here. We'll vary sizes. So it all looks different. So when you walk in, nothing big is gonna happen yet. So one you gotta run from. Oh yeah. Hmm. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, room two is where we already have stuff. Let's add that hello open box and a table. I might make more later. Because I again thought I had more. And let's for the other one we'll add an open box on top of a shelf. Where's my shelf? My shelf is here. Okay, good, good. For room four, we'll add a table and a closed box. And a shelf. Let's throw in a shelf. No, let's throw in, let's throw in an open box. And for room five, we are actually going to bring the thing. Actually, no, no, let's switch room, let's switch room 1 and 5 and 1 and 4. I mean, sorry, 1 and 3 and 1 and 5. What am I saying? Yeah. So 1 and 5, I'm going to rename it to something else. Every 1 and 3 will be 1 and 5. You'll see why. Because the middle is gonna have for this one, the middle is gonna be um, where the key is. Cool. Room five has that. Room four has this. Room three will have this. Or maybe you know, room one can actually just be like a not the hub, but um, will you will you know your information? So it'll have the open door. Wait, alright, didn't I already have an open door? Yeah, I did. It was more of a trigger. We'll copy each, we'll copy them, so it's all, so they're, yeah, each one will have a different variable, so when you go into a different one, it'll bring you to a different room. Now I haven't had the book yet, but I'm still gonna, it's gonna have like either a poster or it's gonna have a book that explains what you need to do, like what each creature, how you avoid them, how you get, how you um, prevent them from killing you. Okay, so this is all the section, and we're gonna make more rooms, but what we're gonna, what we're gonna make first is the concept, it's like the enemy AI, and that's actually what we're gonna get right into. Now, where is the insane normal sprite. I haven't downloaded him yet. No. This goes right up here. Let's download all of these. Um. Girl sprite. 
Let's start with this. We're going to do it one at a time, so it makes it easier. But only since I already have that insane there, I am going to download the other one. And the other creature we'll do later. Yes, we're going to need it. Let's see. So we have the girl, the little gunster, and the insane dude. Awesome. Wrong one. All right, all right. Go. So, oh man, I just realized we have to have this. Can we make it a, la a layer variable? Game, not layer model, show. Hide all but this. Lock, lock all but this. Okay. So let's put them all in together. This one will just be girl head. And strike and sprite you too. Two. I've been using a laptop, so I'm forgetting where my delete key is. Right there. And image point will be the usual. Cool. And the default will be constant. We'll try it seven, see how it looks. And repeat yes, good. And let's she's here. Let's bring her to and when when delete her here. And bring her to room one. Has to still be the size of a head, sort of. Cool. And when we play it, now let's make it faster. Let's try nine. Point two. I like being specific with decimals. And good, so she's in. Oh, I still wish we could kind of make a layer that applies to everything. Or we can make it a global variable and it'll just be invisible. So it'll be kind of like a layer. So let's bring in the girl jump scare. Now we're going to make layer 1 longer, so people are like, for the first time, like, hmm? And then, there you go. Then she comes. Good. Let's see how this looks. We're going to put it as a loop first. We're going to make it 9. 10, let's make it 10. And this one, this layer will be 4. Let's see how it looks. Let's make the last layer also longer, and the first layer longer too. Now let's see how that looks. We're gonna have to make the whole thing faster. Because it has to be like a pop up. It has to be like an actual scare. Let's make it 20, because people like fast things. 
just completely doubling it. Good for now. When we actually put it into gameplay, like when the actual event triggers, that's when we're gonna make a. That's when I say that a lot too. So she's in. So that's her character. Let's bring in the insane dude. No, he's just, this is the normal guy is going to be the normal sprite. Considering cutting the image. Nah, we don't need to do that. Let's give him. Yeah, I remember we give him no arms, which is good. And this guy doesn't have an animation, so it's going to be easier. There. Oh, it's large. It's large, all right. They're gonna be they're, they're gonna have to be big, but I am gonna make them smaller so it's easier to know where they are and easier to read. Yeah. Interesting way. Okay, so that's how we're gonna bring them in, and so him, him and of course the stick creature. Okay, look, I apologize. I'm gonna end this episode early. I I gotta be honest, I did not have that much. I yeah, next episode's gonna be a lot more um, making the AI, and I'm sorry. So yeah, I'm sorry. This wasn't exactly very good. I just I kind of just brought him in and didn't really think about what to do next. That yeah, was my bad. I'll make it better in the next episode. So I'm sorry. Enjoy your day.